Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Morrowind. Now when we had left off, we had pretty much just arrived in Mournhold for our current quest. Which is to find out why we were um, being attacked by a Dark Brotherhood assassin. <clears throat> so we have not really explored this place. We have only talked to about two or three people, including that scary wood elf, Gaynor, who persistently asked us for money until we told him no, in which case he was not happy with the word no, and uh, apparently we won't forget this. Uh, it was very, very an odd encounter. Um, he was standing right here, he is now gone, and it's a little, it's a little scary to think about, I suppose. <laughs> so, now what we're doing is we're trying to find the Great Bazaar, and it, under the Great Bazaar is a system of sewers, which is apparently where the Dark Brotherhood resides, so we are going to explore, we already went there. Um, we have hired Calvus. We have him for 30 days. And then we don't. Or we can rehire him. Now, I had said this in the previous video, but I will say it again. I have never been here. I've never seen anything about Mornhold, nor have I ever even heard of this being a thing you can go to, this being a place. City of so, magic. yes, there's lots of things I have not explored in Morrowind, but this is like a whole new perspective, a whole new light on the game for me personally. It just, it really just makes me fall in love with it all over again, and I'm just so excited to find out everything we can explore and an experience and it's so cool that I'm able to do this with you you know this is really fun that I get to share it with people so without further ado let me stop my blabber oh, no. City of and um, City of magic. I'm just gonna see if I can figure out where the Great Bazaar is if anyone can tell me if not we'll just find it and we'll talk to some people along the way hi there Wow, can you believe this place? It's just amazing. Everything's so beautiful. The buildings, the shop, the shops, the woman. I'm blown away. I mean, I've seen pretty women before, but I just can't get over it. I came from a small town to seek my fortune, as my father would say, but it's hard to get anything done here. It's all just so overwhelming, and I guess a little intimidating. I mean, what would any of these women want with me? It's hard to hope that I might meet the woman of my dreams. Oh, I'm still looking. Hey, you wouldn't know, happen to know anyone, would you? No, I don't. Ah, that's okay, Red. It was worth, worth it just to be able to confide in someone. Oh. Um. Yeah, this place is just nuts. And I had messed with the audio a little bit. I turned down the master volume. So hopefully I'm not too loud now. And if that's the case, well. City of light. City of magic. We will figure out. We'll figure out that next time. Um, great Bazaar. You'll find the Great Bazaar in the eastern section of town. We don't want any trouble there, so mind your manners. The eastern section of town. Isn't it great? Oh my. Okay, hello. <laughs> Again. Uh, my game crashed, so... I'm not sure why, but yeah, my game crashed. I had to reload, and I had not saved since I first started click play, so I just have to accept his quest real quick. Um... I'm not sure why that happened. Um, yeah, but I also wanted to mention that, um, let me know in the comments if um, the audio is too loud, not loud enough, etc. 
Um, this is all very new to me. I have never... Um, actually, I, I streamed on Twitch very short period of time in 2018. I have never done any sort of YouTube videos, um, especially ASMR-esque, or at least, you know, whatever this is. <laughs> I'd like to, I'd like to label it as ASMR-esque, at least. I'm not necessarily whispering here, or doing ear to ear, but I am quiet. It's very chill. I'm not trying to scream or anything. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am very new when it comes to balancing everything out, making it nice and smooth and everything. So forgive me for my, my troubles here. So I had, basically, when my game crashed, I went to my inventory and it just, it lagged and it told me no. So, luckily I am not Gaynor. So, let's just keep going this way. This would be the eastern side, I also don't know. I assume that's supposed to be some sort of ambience, like ambient sound. This is not what I'm used to when playing Marwind, that background noise. Hopefully you can still hear it. I did um, turn down the master volume, so I did a test recording and it, it sounded okay, so, but it was not very long. By the three. Hmm. Very bizarre. Mmm, beautiful little place. I mean, seriously, this is so cool. Okay. So now that we're here, we want to find the sewer system. I'm gonna try not to get too distracted here. As much as I want to get sidetracked. I will try not to. But it's very beautiful. You know, I'm just used to seeing Vyfac and Belmora, and not that there's anything against repetitiveness and Marwind and, you know, certain aspects. It's very nice to be hit with something new. Oh, oh how ironic. Hello, Khajiit. No time to talk, I'm afraid. There's much work to be done. Yes, much to do. No time for silly fancies like drinking, dancing. Oh, but what do I... But what I wouldn't give to meet someone new. Yes, that's right. Believe it or not, I had an, no intention of working here when I came to Mournhold. It's quite a sob story. Are you sure you want to hear it? Please continue. Well, it's mostly my fault, really. I grew up in a small village in the south of Morwind. They cared for me a great deal and only wanted the best for me. But when they arranged my marriage to a wealthy nobleman, I couldn't take it. He was disgusting and I wanted nothing to do with him. So I ran away and ended up here in Mornhold. I was convinced that I w I'd be able to find the man of my dreams. Only, it hasn't worked out that way. Go on. I was foolish about it, to be sure. I never considered that I'd need money to survive on my own. I was determined, though, not to go crawling back to the village and beg forgiveness from my parents that, and that loathsome man. I'd make it on my own, and only then would I contact my parents and let them know where I was. So I started working, and now it's all I do. I never have time to meet anyone. Uh, let me know if you meet any nice single men, will you? Marina Gilneth. Gilneth. Gilneth, Gilneth, Gilneth. 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 That's the last name. She's related to someone in tomorrow and I, I recognize the Gilneth. I always want to steal something from a Gilneth. Something Gilneth. Does it really matter right now? No, but I'm very curious. Alright. 
It, it really doesn't matter. Gilness. Foreign Gilnet, that's what it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, sorry, that was really loud, probably. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Sorry, I just had to know. Just days, I'm listening. Let no falsehood spoil my play. What can she do for you? Very interesting. Hi, Kashid. You probably want to talk to Marin backstage. He's in charge of our little group troop here. You may have noticed something had happened in this video. For whatever reason, a section of my recording got deleted or it did not record properly. Now, when I make my Morrowind videos, I record in segments and I tape them all together basically. Well, one of my segments did not record properly and you missed some information basically. What you missed was that I went to the sewers with Calvis, my companion. We ventured not too far in actually and we found old Mornhold. When we had found old Mornhold, that meant we had found the Dark Brotherhood uh, hideout and there was basically an army of Dark Brotherhood members who saw us and ran at us. Uh, no chance for, for dialogue, no chance for talking, no chance for reconciliation or anything like that. It was just immediate fight. So, and then basically I died. <laughs> and then it kind of continued on to the next segment. And if there was anything else that you missed, there really nothing of uh, rich in detail. Basically, I just was attacked by a big army, a um, big small, whatever, big small army of the Dark Brotherhood members, and yeah, that's basically it. But I just wanted to kind of add this in there because it went from like one part to the next in the blink of an eye with no explanation. So I figured I'd put this in there. So I apologize for that recording issue and hopefully it does not happen in the future. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. Alrighty, I have had quite the interesting day recording. Let's see, I'm about to die here anyway. But, uh... Oh, 
how I feel like he'll be too caught up in wanting to murder everything he sees instead of following me. But I don't know how to fight a ghost. Whoa. Oh jeez, a waste that scared the crap out of me. Oh, Calvis, where are you? I think I hear fighting. Oh no. I wish I could make him stop fighting. There's no way to make them stop, I don't think. And I really don't want to, like, cheat. <gasps> Let's run by this person while this person help us fight. I'm not sure what to do. I wish I could make him stop fighting. Is he actually doing damage with no hands? Does this actually work? I'm just wondering what I should do because I don't have the means to be down here. I don't have a way to fight the ghosts and I don't want to lose Calvis. I would like him to stick with me all the way to here and I don't know if we're supposed to barter all the Dark Brotherhood assassins or what. Um, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through here. I'm going to see if there's anything that I can find to hint at what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm supposed to find out if there's anything to find out at this point.
I did not actually see that this was a way to go. Why is this a building? Oh, gosh. Kill this, you stupid man. cheesy. But I don't want to lose my companion. And I feel like I need, I, I need to do some more research or something. On uh, what I should be doing. City of light. City of magic. Um. Okay. So I'll figure out a way to murder the ghosts and am I really supposed to just fight my way through the Dark Brotherhood? That sounds crazy. I don't know who it is. I want to dead, and I don't know. Want to know dark brother activity here in Bridenville? Oh, do, 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 do. Hmm. Steer clear of them at all costs. What I, I need? I need to talk to them. When I should arrive, I should speak with one of the Royal Guard for more information about the Dark Brotherhood. One of the Royal Guards, like back where we started. Sorry, not interested. I'm wondering. I feel like the Royal Guard will just tell me what I already know, which is the Dark Brotherhood has a base. You're not a real guard, are you? Born no. City of light. City of magic. Okay. I don't know why you want to go looking for those for those demons. Some say they live in the sewers beneath the Great Bazaar. You're an adventurer, right? Then watch out if you go down in the sewers. That's the way to the ruins of old Mournhold. Yes, that's where an adventurer can make his fortune. But the Black Dart gain preys on adventurers down below. They look harmless, like outcasts or beggars. You may think you're tough. You can handle anything, but not the Black Dart gain. Uh, okay. Don't get cocky. Okay. Well, who's that? Okay. Well, shoot. I feel like I'm on a crossroads here. 
I suppose I could just do some quests while I'm here, but the thing is, is I really wanted to figure out this whole Dark Brotherhood thing. I didn't want to stop watching at this point. They were like, oh my gosh, this is painful, and I am sorry. And I kind of agree with you, to be honest, because I did not expect it to go quite like this. Part of me expected that I was going to be able to speak with the Dark Brotherhood and kind of, like, figure out why, who, when, where kind of thing. For whatever reason, it's not quite going out that way. Um, guards quarters. Oh, we didn't expect you to be named. Okay, this guy. I bet he's just gonna say the same thing. You want to go looking for them? It's your funeral. Look, I've heard rumors that they have a hideout in the ruins of Old Mournhold. You can get there through the sewers and the Great Bazaar. In the king's name, what is your business? You know, to be honest with you, I don't want to do. I wonder if there's a different sewer system pattern like I went. I came in one way. I wonder if there's another way to enter the sewers closer to Old Mournhold, where I can keep him with me. And I think if I can fight, like, one or two, I could probably do it. I feel... I just was told not to be cocky, but I feel somewhat confident in my ability to do so. To, like... To be able to fight them. Okay, so we entered. I wish I remembered. Which way? I think it was over there. I could be wrong. Let's go see. I'm not sure where all the sewer uh, entrances are, or how many there is, etc., etc. I feel like I will have the best of luck with my companion with me in an extra set of arms. What? Now oh, I have to talk to you. Well, hello there. Aren't you a tasty dish? You must be new to Mournhold. I'd have recognized that beautiful face otherwise. Fawn's Baron, at your service, my lady. A man who loves beautiful women. Yes, indeed. A great lover, by all accounts. Feel free to ask her help. The ladies here will agree, I'm quite sure. But let's not waste any more time. Shall we skip the formula formalities and just head back to my manor? What? Yes. Not a chance. Sorry you're not my type. I feel like that's a little nicer. Not your type. Take another look, baby. I'm every man's type. <laughs> I'm every woman's type. No. Uh, well, do you have any cute friends? I'm in the market and I'm looking for a good time. Uh, a companion. Something like that. Well, I suppose that figures. You know what they say about the cute ones. They always have ugly friends, anyway. But, uh, let me know if you should happen to run into any cute girls, will you? I'm sure they'd be anxious to find out what you're going to miss out on. Ugh. Good lord. Okay. Well then, that was not the conversation I quite expected. So I'm pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> on that note, I'm pretty sure that this is the way I entered. Bazaar sewers. Let's see, I wish I could almost uh, like make a mark on my map. Yeah, that's definitely... This is it, okay. Let's see if there's another one down here. Hopefully that... I swear. I hope there's more than one entrance to the sewers. It would just be a whole, lot, whole heck of a lot easier. So it seems like this place, everyone's interested. At least a handful. I don't know about everyone. A handful of people are interested in love, finding a companion. Um, I 
No one likes a dark brotherhood. Pardon me, friend, but I'm not feeling very talkative right now. Perhaps some other time. All right. I kind of want to see the play. Maybe we should watch the play. Sounds interesting enough. So, as it stands, as far as I can see, there is only one entrance to the sewer, which I am not quite too thrilled about, personally. Um, I'm gonna have to wait, I think, to go through the sewers. Uh, let's explore a little bit, see what we can see. I have to sell everything again, I forgot. But I am very curious. I suppose I could give some stuff to him. Uh, are we thinking to improve my effectiveness? If you want a better, if you want better performance, give me better gear. Think of it as an investment in your future. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. She's looking for love. That guy was just looking for a night, so we're not going to suggest to him. I'm, I'm assuming that you can suggest that guy if you want to screw her over or set her up for love. Uh, please continue. Go on. Okay. Good man is out. The show is late. Marin, Dr. Marin backstage. She's our little. Let's charge for the little troop. Okay. Marin. What do you got going on over here? Now's the time to talk. Okay, cool. Um, oops. What do you consider? I know, I know that's not backstage, but what do you consider? Oh, this. It's never easy, is it? Greetings, Khajiit. I'm Marin Othralis, founder of the Moonhold Players. I'm sure you came here to watch our production of the horror of Castle Zur. Well, I'm very sorry to inform you that we don't, we won't be putting on the show today. The troupe has its own drama to worry about at the moment. Own drama. Yes, well, wouldn't you know that the very day we're supposed to debut, debut our show, our lead actor, Tarvis Belt, Belleth comes down with collie wobbles. We can't find anyone to take over his part. I would do it, but my expertise is desperately needed backstage. So now I've got, I've just got to stand up here and try to drive people away from our heavily promoted production. I just wish we could find someone who looks like Tarvis. Hmm, wait just a minute there, Khajiit. You know, you kind of look a little like Taurus. I think this might work. What do you say, Khajiit? Would you like to take on the part of Cl Clavides, captain of the Imperial Guard in our production? Yes, Khajiit looks just like an Imperial Guard. Yes, I'd love to help. Fantastic. Here, take a copy of the script. As you can see, people are already starting to gather, so we need to get this show started. I'm sure you know the horror of Castle Zur quite well, don't you? Of course you do, so there's no need for a lengthy rehearsal. Review the script for the next few minutes. Next two minutes, then talk to me again. Make sure you come back within two minutes, as our player requires exact timing to pull off correctly. Okay. Let's 
read a script. Okay, how long is this? Lengthy as hell. Am I supposed to really know what all the work, all the script is? Are they gonna put me on the spot? Can I make or break this? Late evening, the play opens in the interior great entrance hall of a castle and staff anode, replete with fine furnishings and tapestries. I don't know if I want to read all this. Uh, good evening, is your master at home? Possibly, would you mind if I came in? He comes in. No, thank you. What's your name? Anara, when did your master leave Skaith Anud? Yes, there it is. Do you know an Ashlander by the name of Sol? Rifa. You know what? We're gonna wing it. Improv is great. Alright. <clears throat> Let's do this. Good job, Brad. You're right on time. Let's get this show on the road. All you have to do is head out there, through the door, hit your mark in the center of the rock next to Gear. Gurine, <laughs> stand still and deliver your lines. Move quickly though the, through the door. Timing is everything and be careful. The audience knows will play well and I'll be counting your mistakes. Break a leg. Oh shit. I don't even look like the guy. Alright. Good evening to you, Sancho. Uh -oh. Oh shit, it is gonna ask. Okay, well, good thing I read the beginning, damn it. Good evening. Good evening. Is your master home? Sorry, my stand was going away from me. No, Sir Joe, it's only me here. My master, Sadura Kenna Talvani Cordolf Seer, is at his winter estate. Is there something I can do for you? I think I asked to come in. Not at all, Sir Joe. Please, may I offer you some food? Oh shit, I should have read it. I should have read the darn script, all of it. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Yes, please, what's your name? Anara Sir Joe. Anara such a lovely name. More than a fortnight ago. That's why it's only me in the castle, Sir Joe. All the other servants and slaves who tend to his lordship travel with him. Is there something wrong? I okay with this right I love how I'm just like staring at the ground. No, Sir Joe, I know no one by that name. He's dead. He last said keep Ensign. He's dead. He last said castle Enzer. He's dead. He knew your master. I'm guessing at this point. I suppose it's educated guess. My master knew this man, but being an Ashlander and my master being of the house of Telvani, well, if you'll pardon me for being flippant, Sir Joe, I don't think they would be friends. Her acting is on point. Huh? Can I look in your master's library? Do you know when your master went? Do you have any interest in Ashlanders? Go wherever you want. We have nothing to hide. We are loyal imperial subjects. I don't see how you claim that being Tavani. No, you're not. You're Tavani as I hear. being attacked because we got the script wrong. <laughs> Let me just twist your back. So, I think we made too many mistakes. Oh 
the show, everyone, huh? Quite the show. saw the future. Okay. When did your master leave? Then you aren't likely now he's dead. Castle and sir. Uh, that is your master's library. You are all till honey. The library needs dusting. I'm grateful for that. I thought you had finished. Do, 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 do. War of him. Let's just do it again. So we might get brownie points for doing a crack, huh? Warven. I'm going to have a look around the rest of the house if you don't mind. Alright, these are all the rooms in the castle, no secret passages. Your master is a big man. That's right, I remember hearing something about that when I first took my post here. It was something, it was someone named Azur who killed the giant, but I didn't think the first name was Hordolf. Memory fades, I'm afraid. I do, it was Torfang. I got out of Torfang's shield. Okay, well, let's, let's try it out. Sir Joe, it's only me here. My master, Sedora Kanata Vani Cordolf, is here. Is that his winter estate? Is there something Yo, I could do for you? You're in the shot. Not at all, Sir Joe. Please, may I offer you some flip? I got this one wrong. You know what? I didn't even look. No way for sure. Sure, Sir Joe. Oops. <laughs> I just got called stupid. I'm in your master. More than a fortnight ago. That's why it's only me in the castle, Sir Joe. All the other servants and slaves who tend to his lordship travel with him. Is there something wrong? Do you know an Ashlander named Sula Karifa? No, Sir Joe. I know no one by that name. He last said castle and sir. Back? That's strange. I suppose it's possible that my master knew this man, but being an Ashlander and my master being of the house of Telvanni, well, if you'll pardon me for being flippant, Sir Joe, I don't think they would be friends. Could I look in a master's library? Please, Sir Joe, go wherever you want. We have nothing to hide. We are loyal imperial subjects. As I hear, are all Tavani. Okay. Interesting. I don't think we got that one wrong. So that must just be part of part of this quest. Oh, let's just use this. Holy cow! Okay, Calvus, please. Relax, Ruby. 
Is there something I can do for you? Not at all, Sergio. Please, may I offer you some flip? Anara, Sergio. More than a fortnight ago. We're getting them all carved so far. In the castle, Sergio. All the other servants and slaves who tend to his lordship travel with him. Is there something wrong? No, Sir Joe, I know no one by that name. Vec, that's strange. I suppose it's possible that my master knew this man, but being an Ashlander and my master in the house of Corrupt, well, if you'll pardon me for being flippant, Sir Joe, I don't think they would be friends. Go wherever you want. We have nothing to hide. We are loyal imperial subjects. Okay. Let's see. Let's get him. successfully defended myself from an assassin who assaulted me in the middle of my performance. The play obviously cannot go on. Perhaps I should speak with Marion about what just happened. Oh my, what's going on? Why did he attack you? Maybe you should talk to Marin. Thank goodness. Not bad for an amateur. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh my. Yes, I saw what happened, Red. I hope you can forgive us, but we knew that an assassin would attack sooner or later. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for setting me up for that. Yes, well, you see, our lead actor, Tarvis, recently had a somewhat indecent tryst with the daughter of a Tablani diplomat. The diplomat caught him in the act and vowed revenge. Since Tarvis changes residence frequently, we knew an attack would come and go. Would come during his performance. When the diplomat could be sure of Tarvis's location. Hopefully, since you were able to dispatch the would-be assassin, the diplomat will try again. I know that the services of the Morag Tong are very expensive to enlist. I apologize for using you in this matter, manner, Red, but I hope you understand why it was necessary. Ah, uh, yes, well, I do intend to pay you in full. Let's see. During the play, I didn't count a single mistake. Very impressive, Red. But your acting skills could definitely use some improvement. Here, take this gold and the amulet that will improve your acting abilities whenever you need it. Thank you again, and I hope you can forgive us. Two grand. I'll take it. Okay. Amulet of verbosity. Hmm. I gotta see what these are. Oh, thank you. What an incredible performance. It said he's unfamiliar. That 
was you, wasn't it? Oh, thank you. You're too kind, you're too kind. Alright. What if I speech cap nice? Kinda of figured so. Well, you know what? Honestly, I think I'm gonna call it here for today's video. I did not think that this video was gonna go in this direction at all. Like when I ended the video yesterday. We're gonna go to Mournhold, we're gonna do some Dark Brotherhood stuff. Boo, 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 boo. And it did, it did not turn out that way at all. And I apologize. I, uh... What do you want? I didn't quite expect it to be that challenging or that much of a surprise, to be honest, which was really cool to, to see, you know. It all worked out in the end. We did an interesting little... an interesting little quest here with the play. Um, I feel like we didn't do a whole lot this episode. So I apologize for like like a filler episode. Pretty much is what this feels like to me. So <laughs> hopefully in the next one we will do a lot more. That's my goal at least. I um, Hopefully we can do something with the Dark Brotherhood West in the sewers. Um, we should find that this lady a man, because why not? And, uh, yeah. Well. We will, uh. We will get there. We'll have a good time, no matter what. I'm, I'm enjoying this new location, nonetheless. You know, new quests, new people. New dialogue, that's what it seems like. So, yes. If you made it this far. Thank you for taking along on this adventure. And I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.